Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to descale this Mr. Coffee 12 cup programmable coffee maker. Model number BVMC-JPX37-R. So you got a little clean light here. If that clean light is flashing at you or on steady, that's telling you that it's time to descale your coffee maker. If your coffee is not as hot as it used to be, you should end up with about a 165 degree cup of coffee when it's all done. If your coffee maker is taking too long, if it's really loud, or if your coffee doesn't taste as good, these are all signs that it's time to descale. So the heating element inside your coffee maker is gonna look like this. It's in the bottom of the warming plate. The water is gonna come in, it's gonna get superheated, then it's gonna get shot out this other tube to go over the coffee grounds. But this is the part we're descaling. So you'll have hard water deposits. I've cut this open to show you the inside. Hard water deposits will stick to the inside of that tube and it won't be able to heat the water as efficiently. And it also could actually start to clog it off completely and your water, your hot water could start to taste funny, which makes your coffee taste funny. So what this coffee maker is going to do is it's going to brew the water and vinegar through here. It's going to pause, brew, pause, brew, hopefully going to break away some of that calcium deposits. So you might see some white calcium deposits in the bottom of your craft when this is all done. So in order to get that red light to go off, we do have to put it into this descale mode. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure your filter basket is installed. We don't need a filter or anything. If you've got your carbon water filter sitting on top, now we're gonna take it out for the duration. I've got distilled white vinegar here. You can use just regular white vinegar. We're gonna fill it up in the back here to the four cup mark with pure vinegar. And then the rest will be water. Right there. So I've got it filled to the four cup mark. Now I'm gonna go from the four to the 12 with just tap water or filtered water. Okay, so I filled the rest up, up with water. That's our proper ratio vinegar to water that we need. Make sure you close the lid. Okay, so my make sure your craft is empty. We're gonna come up here and press the clean button. That's gonna automatically start the cleaning process. The clean light comes on and kind of pulses. This white light comes on. We don't need to do anything else. Just press the clean button and it starts. Now you're gonna to have to give yourself about an hour to do this start to finish. This process here is gonna take a while because what it's gonna do, it's gonna brew a little bit of that vinegar and water and then stop. Brew a little bit and then stop. It's an automatic cleaning process. After, so you can, go, you can go do something, come back to this in a little while. When it's done with this, we're gonna rinse this out with soap and water, get rid of all the vinegar. Then we're gonna do two to three fresh water rinses. That's gonna get the taste and the smell of the vinegar out of the coffee maker. It, sometimes two, sometimes I have to do it three times. And you can see it's just barely brewing a little bit and it, it stops to make you think that it's not doing anything at all, but that's good, it's pausing. Okay, so I came back to mine after a while. It's done with the cleaning process. So be careful, that will be hot. You're gonna dump that water and vinegar out, rinse that out with soap and water and fill it up with fresh water. We're done with the vinegar now, and now it's gonna be fresh water rinsing. It's also a good idea to, to, to uh, rinse out your filter basket. It's gonna have some water and vinegar on it too. Okay, so I got the craft emptied and rinsed out. I got the back here filled up with just fresh water now. No vinegar, just fresh water. Close the lid again. Filter basket, but no filter or anything. Now you're just gonna do a normal brew. Just start a normal brew. This takes about 10 to 12 minutes. It's gonna run that water through there to clean out the vinegar smell and taste inside the coffee maker. When it's done, turn it off, dump that out, fill it up with fresh water again. Again, do two to three of these fresh water rinses. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.